as always, you appreciate your feedback. Give us your thoughts as we start this conversation tonight on the BBI report. Remember, it's all about understanding this report. What is it that makes you tick? When you hear the BBI, the hashtag is the stand KE at Ram Aguko at Y254 channel. That is on Twitter. Remember, we are live on our website www.y254.co.ke. Give us your thoughts, give us your tweets as we continue with this conversation. We'll be sampling them up in the, at the tail end of this conversation. Now, uh, gentlemen, Karibu Nisana. Um, and w what makes me smile tonight is that you've carried the report. <laughs> and I think I'm the only one who carried two of them. Two? You, you carried two? Which are different the one? ones? Which there are, are the only two question discussions in this country. Oh, Pumuza Mzigo and Bibi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, you, you, you were the event at Bomas? Yes, I was. Uh, were you I there? was there. You were also there? Yes. Or let, let, let me start with you, uh, Julius. Yes. What is it that, um, you know, how was it there? And uh, from the event, what do you make of the whole um, launch of the BBI? Just generally in your own perspective. Well, the launch was uh, an opportunity for Kenyans to start discussing, su discussing something that they have. Because previously people had been talking about uh, uh, this BBI even without seeing it. People had taken positions, others rejecting, others uh, supporting mm -hmm. without actually seeing what they're discussing. So yesterday was an opportunity for us to pick it like now I have a copy so that when I am speaking to it, I am speaking about something that I have read, I have seen. Mm -hmm. And uh, from uh, yesterday's uh, 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 BOMAS uh, uh, conference, I can actually say it was good because this document is a good document. It's a good document if you take time to read it. What I would advise is that let us not jump into taking stance, jump mm. into taking positions, jump into uh, taking sides without looking at this document in details. It's, 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 it's fairly wide. Mm -hmm. It's fairly long. The DP, I remember saying yesterday that is a slow learner. So mm. I would actually say that we need time to read it then we can uh, advisedly give opinions. And uh, 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 have you finished reading the report? I have substantially read the report, you, so you I, can, I, uh, I can discuss it now. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, what about your Kango? How was the, the, the launch in your own perspective yesterday? First of all, yesterday was not a launch. The mm. launch was done in Kisi. Yesterday was to unveil what unveil. was launched to the public. Okay. And okay. that's why you could see mm. the people who attended came out with a report. Mm -hmm. I have read this document twice, from page 1 to 204. I've read it together with the accompaniments, the Annex 1 up to Annex A up to Annex I. And therefore, I can confidently say mm -hmm. that this report was meant to achieve two important aspects of this country. Number one, economy. Number two, peace. And that has been broken down into implementation matrix. In matrix number one, constitutional reforms. There's a bill, Constitution of Kenya 2010, 2020. Mm. Yeah, Constitution of, uh, Amendment of Kenya 2020. There is the administrative action or admi administrative aspect of implementation that talks about, for example, I've seen an example of KBC being given there as, um, you know, uh, setting up, a, a, you know, what we call a 24-hour TV channel that will talk about our culture and values mm -hmm. and also make them profitable. The other aspect is policy. One of the policies that impressed me is the policy on prompt payment so that our people, as they do business with government, whatever, they can be paid earlier. Then the last one is legislative. There are quite a number of le legislation that have been proposed and that's some that will be revisited. But most importantly, the Constitution of Kenya, 2010, that we have today, if you look at the 264 articles in the Constitution of Kenya, only 56 are going to be amended. Then, the word economy has been mentioned 153 times. That's how detailed I am in reading it. On the report. Yes. So, I am confident. But lastly, I am confident, mm. and I'm a very happy party uh, Secretary General today, that the issues that we presented during the validation, 15 of them, nine have been captured. And just to give a very short summary. Devolution, strengthening devolution. We propose, remember we were the first people to start the constitutional amendment process, Pungusa Mzigo 1, okay. and now we are in 2. 35% mm -hmm. at least. 
the World Development Fund, that we start measuring development from the world level. You know? Now, so for me, mm. I am very confident that yesterday when the president said we are going to have a national conversation, we do believe in the coming national conversation, anything that the Kenyan people feel should be added or what they feel that does not augur well, then that is what we are calling a national conversation. We are confident and fair enough to them, this document will sort the two major issues that are bedeviling this country. And this is why we need to have this conversation right Correct. here, especially on Y254. This is why we need to have this conversation with you from home, even as a youth. Remember, the BBI report touches on so many different, um, you know, agendas. Absolutely. And including the youth, it touches on inclusivity, it touches on the judicial legislation, and, so, and, and much more. So make sure that you give us your take in regards to this uh, BBI report. What is your understanding of the report? Let us condense it. Let us be able to understand the BBI report. And I'd like to start with uh, the aspect of inclusivity. Still, um, the Jubilee Party Deputy Secretary General Caleb Kositani said this, and I quote, the BBI was hurriedly made to create positions and that is what it did. It was a premeditated initiative to create positions. And that is the question. Is it a position-making uh, uh, geared document? And how is it that we can be able to, you know, to, to best understand this BBI if that is the aspect that Honorable Kostan is coming from? Julius. Well, I totally do not agree with that, uh, uh, that, that position. And like I already said, there are people who are already taking positions on this document without mm. reading it. Mm. Yesterday, yesterday, there were serious submissions that were made at Bomas of Kenya, mm. only to go back to the docu document to look at it in details to find that they were actually lies. Now... I agree with my, my, my friend here. He says, although I, I didn't go into that detail, that he has counted the number of articles that are go going to be amended. Mm -hmm. He says there are 53. Do you say 53? 56. 56. Now, do all the 56 articles talk about leadership? The answer is no. Mm -hmm. Probably there's only one or two that talk about leadership, that talk about representation and also the, 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 executive. the, 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 the executive. So it is not true that... BBI was hurried so as to create a position. That, that is uh, 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 sentiments of people who pro probably have not read the document. Yeah, there is this perception because of the creation of the Prime Minister's post the, uh, 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 and other positions that are, supposed, are supposedly or allegedly made for some specific people. But of course, <laughs> as, as, as politicians would always want to sell to the public what they want the public to know or mm -hmm. what they want the public to believe. This is, we are talking about a Kenyan public that today is quite enlightened. I want to tell the Kenyan public to read this document themselves. Now, this document does not talk about expanding the executive only. Expanding the executive has been brought as one of the solutions to the viruses that I mentioned earlier. Remember, when you read this document, mm -hmm. you will see the, 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 the committee talking about the challenges that Kenyans presented to them and then the proposed solutions that the same Kenyans gave to them. Now, having read the thousands of pages of documents that they got from Kenyans, these are the answers that they are now, they are now proposing based on what Kenyans told them. So, if Kenyans told them that they want the executive to be expanded to answer some problem that also has been identified, then so be it. So that is, BBI is not just a document that was um, you know, uh, drafted from any individual's mind. It is from the minds of the Kenyans. Far from it. BBI should be read in context. It's not a document that just comes from nowhere. It should mm -hmm. be read in context. Uh, Okango, this is what you said, I believe, today. Okay. Uh, the party gave its position. There was a, 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 Absolutely. a, a press uh, statement sent out. Absolutely. Uh, you said this, the BBI report rightly acknowledges generational tensions that have been fueled by feelings amongst us if being excluded, left out, and neglected in building our economy and in governance. You have quoted me verbatim. verbatimly. Uh, Ram, if you look at this report, and I, my colleague has aptly put it, yesterday, if you were keen, even though there was very limited time, and that's why I'm saying our role 
as citizens who love this country. Forget about the party affiliations. I'm not from Jubilee. I'm not from ODM. I am from a party, Third Year Alliance. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I agree with majority of the issues that have been presented in this report is what I've just said. This country has undergone a lot of tension every five years. And even within the five years, it has undergone a lot of economic meltdown after political, I mean, after general election. But this report, together with the submissions that we did, outlines a methodical way of solving the problems that are now ailing this country. Mm -hmm. One of them is strengthening devolution. Mm -hmm. I am passionate about it because where are the people of Kenya? Mm -hmm. The people of Kenya are in the counties, in the villages, and in the smallest unit called the ward. And therefore, if this report proposes a 5% allocation in what we call a ward development fund, mm -hmm. which will be guided by a statute, then therefore it means that development will be effected. But not only that, Aguko, the report says that even that 5% of the 35% that is going to the county, now going to the ward, the ward development fund shall now be used to achieve the issues that we identify in Article 43, economic and social rights. This country, the biggest problem is achievement of socioeconomic rights. And number one, clean water and food. Mm -hmm. Number two, health services. Number three, security. Number four, education. If our people, the 50 million of us, cannot get that, then there is a problem. And therefore, if you look at it politically, some people are saying it is creating position. In fact, there is no position that is creating. It has replaced positions that were there to make it effective. I'll give an example. Today, the report proposes to have a PM, who mm. is a member of parliament, not a new creation. Do you know what it has done? It has replaced majority leader. The report proposes to have two DPMs who are still members of parliament, the, the majority leader deputy. The report now proposes to create the position of opposition leader because after every election, because it is contested, we have people who have gone into this election and have gotten substantive votes and they are outside there they are not even in parliament but they are saying this government is doing one two three they cannot check it adequately because they are out and therefore the creation of positions is a fallacy what we should say mm -hmm. it has established positions that affirm and strengthen what was there in terms of representation i am aware that even though we are talking about representation and the creation of positions in the executive there are also it does not a position there, no. there are youths who claim that they also want to be you know involved in <coughs> this position in the executive you, you, you know aguko before wakili comes in the positions that have been created and allow me to use the wording that i i want kenyans to understand mm. the positions that have been established and that's what the law says those positions have been established, number one, to ensure effectiveness in parliament. Number two, to share power, take power from the president and bring them to the parliament. Mm. One of them, the PM, will be the uh, leader of government business. Mm. Look at that, how it is cascading down. But the constitution of Kenya also gives us a guideline in Article 30, 130, sub Article 2, that the, in establishing the national executive, it shall reflect the regional diversity of the people of Kenya. Do you know what that means? It is solving the division and now making it inclusive. Means that cabinet now shall have the face of Kenya. Now, if youths say that they want, or women say that they want, then they are part of the di regional diversity of the people of Kenya. They shall be included. But the most important thing is that the Establishment of those positions strengthens parliament because it brings now government into well, parliament and checking is efficient. You understand? How, 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 how positive are you that, that this creation of, um, well, it, it is just one among many solutions, that creation of these positions, including the <coughs> prime minister's post and the, lead, the leader, who, you know, the, this uh, leader of opposition um, is going to promote inclusivity in the nation. <coughs> you know, Historically, politics uh, in Kenya has been uh, tribal-based. And in many cases, we've always had two or three major tribal 
parties. If any of the two or three major uh, political parties wins election, nothing has always stopped them from uh, 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 forming government from members of their party. And because I have said that they are, they, are, they are tribal, it means members of their party are also part of a particular tribal unit. So if they are to pick members that form government from one particular political party, mm -hmm. which basically is one tribe, it means government will be run by one tribe. Now, my friend has said that the idea is to ensure that at least the top echelons of leadership, the top five, mm. uh, represent the face of Kenya. That means the government is restricted in the manner in which it forms itself. The government is restricted by the constitution so that even if it is one party that wins election or one coalition uh, uh, of parties that wins election, they have to ensure that if the president comes from this region of the country, mm. the deputy will come from the other region, <laughs> the prime minister from another region. Hold so, of, of which I, I would like to hold that thought. Let's take a look, uh, take, a, take a listen at what the deputy president said yesterday. <coughs> The president from his side, like for example here, President Uhuru Kenyatta, I am here, Kimunya is the prime minister uh, because he is the leader of majority. We have Jimmy Angwenyi who is our deputy as a, a, a deputy prime minister and maybe Maoka Maore as one of the deputies. So what happens to the whole NASA brigade together with Musalia and all these other people? Yeah. That is what he wanted Raya to hear. Mm -hmm. And because he said he has not read the document, he's a slow learner, you remember he said. <laughs> it's actually because of him that I went and read this document page by page, uh, so, so that I would understand if whatever he was saying are true. But, Actu but, but, but is, is whatever he's, he's saying holding water? It's not true. What happens to the, like, the NASA leaders? What he's describing is the position as it is now. If we were to have this kind of governance structure, under the current constitution without amending it, then whatever it's describing is what will, ha will happen. Meaning there, is no, there will be no inclusivity. There will be no inclusivity. If we are to create uh, the position of prime minister and the two deputies and the head of state and his deputy under the current arrangement as it is. But okay. that is what the, the, the document is trying to propose to enlarge, to ensure that uh, uh, it, it reflects the face of Kenya. Of course, Kenya has how many, how many communities? Over, over, over 40. 45, 43. Yeah, so we cannot have all the 40 at the same time. But if you are able to have them regionally, mm. one from Central, another one from Western, from Coast, from Rift Valley, that is what this document is trying to solve.